Okay, so Apple's Wonderless event was a couple of days ago, and I'm excited for the iPhone 15 Pro Max, which I will be ordering at the end of this video. But let's go through every single device and give you my honest thoughts on every single one of them. We're gonna go in the exact same order as them, so we're gonna start off with the new Apple Watches. I'm just gonna be real. Don't get these new Apple Watches unless you don't have one or unless you have that kind of money, unless you're balling out like that. Don't get these new ones because they are the exact same thing respectfully and no offense okay and if you actually like the product then that is totally fine i just think that it's nothing new guys like i know that it got a new chip other than that there's nothing new i think it's just a little bit brighter and it has new colors but every apple watch that has come out has had tons of colors and i don't think that a color really warrants purchasing an apple watch in my opinion okay so they also released the apple watch ultra 2 guys <sighs> It's the same thing as last year or whenever the Apple Watch Ultra 1 came out. And it's not any new colors. It's not any new features, really. Like, even the tap with your hand is an accessibility feature that you could use on other Apple Watches. So I don't I don't know why they really promoted that as a new feature because it's not really new. Maybe with the new chip, it's better or it's more reliable or I don't know, it's able to do a lot more. Like they're really pushing this feature. Like maybe with the accessibility feature, you can only do so much. And with this one, you can do a lot more. Maybe that's why they promoted it, but I'm not really sure. I don't have an Apple Watch. I'm not balling out like that yet. I'm not really excited for it. Again, if I had that kind of money to just spend $800 on the double tap feature, okay, I would do it, okay? But for a regular consumer, a regular person, I don't see this being like a huge upgrade unless you already, uh, unless you don't already have an Apple Watch. Okay, so let's move on to the iPhone 15, the regular version. The only big feature is USB-C, dude. I can't believe we now have USB-C on an iPhone. That's crazy. And if you're not really like a tech head or anything like that, you probably don't really care. I think that everything that it has is what the iPhone 14 Pro has or the iPhone 14 Pro Max has. It's not as expensive as the iPhone 14 Pro Max or Pro. So I think it is a bit of an upgrade, but I think the latest and greatest things for these iPhone events is the Pro models. But Continuing on with the iPhone 15, it has the A16 chip from last year. The iPhone 15 also has a 48 megapixel camera, which is pretty, pretty good. And with these iPhones that get larger files, if you're gonna get one of these, I suggest you get something a little bit bigger than 128 or 256. These files are getting very, very large. And if you don't know anything about SSDs or HDDs, look into it. You're gonna wanna get one of these because these files are getting very, very large. But overall, I think that the biggest upgrade is that it has USB-C. But I'm gonna warn you because the iPhone 15, yes, it has USB-C, but it doesn't have USB-C real, 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 real to its full potential speed because it's been reserved to the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max, which I think is a good segue. So the iPhone 15 Pros, I think they get the latest and greatest upgrades Obviously, those are the last things that they show because they want to save the best for last. They get the new A17 Pro chip inside of them. Like I was saying about the iPhone 15, the 15 Pro Max also has USB-C, but, but with way faster transfer speeds, like way, way faster. Not to USB-C's full potential, but still very, very good in my opinion. Apple also showed that you could connect an external hard drive to your iPhone 15 Pro, which is really, really cool. Um, I think it also said that you could record onto it, which again is very, very good. Um, I could see it being used more in the professional world. The pro models, the pro models also have the new action button, which is, I don't know, to me it's sad because I've always really loved messing with the, the silence button, which is probably a bad thing because I do remember breaking it when I was in middle school with my iPhone 5. I kept messing with it that I broke it. I think I'll probably set mine to like just to open up the camera so I can like record things really fast, but you can use the action camera to open up a lot of different things. So the sky's the limit. I just have to hold it in my hands to see if it is uh, as great as they market it to be. The iPhone 15 Pro models are also made out of a new metal, which is titanium. Honestly, I don't know too much about it being uh, stronger or harder or whatever, because you're always gonna have a case on your phone. What did catch my attention about the new metal is that apparently it's gonna have a better heat dissipation. If that's true, I'm gonna love it because my iPhone 12 Pro Max heats up like crazy when it's charging or when I'm doing anything that requires it to like work a lot harder. So a feature specific to the iPhone 15 Pro Max model is that it has, uh, I believe it has 
a better zoom lens, if I'm not wrong, maybe some more camera features than on just the regular 15 and the iPhone 15 Pro. So that'll be pretty cool to test out. Okay, so that's my thoughts on the Apple event. It was an hour and 20 minutes or an hour and a half, so I definitely missed out on some stuff. So go check it out for yourself. But for now, let's go pre-order my new iPhone 12, my new iPhone 15 Pro Max. Okay, hi. It is the next morning. My hair looks crazy. All right, let's pre-order this bad boy. iPhone 15 Pro. Yeah. I want the 15 Pro Max. I want the blue one. Or should I get the black one? Oh, I don't know which one I should get. Uh, I definitely don't want white or natural titanium. I don't know. Should I get the blue one? Because I have the blue... Tor Pro Max. I feel like it's I feel like it's only fitting, all right? I got the blue 12 Pro Max. So I'll actually get the 15 Pro Max that's blue as well. 256 gigabytes. We're almost done. We're almost done. We're almost done. There's no availability within your location. Pretty Oh crap. Delivers October 16th through October 23rd. Bro, what the heck? Uh, I wanted it. I wanted it as soon as possible, bro. Well, this sucks. Ugh, I can't. I can't pre-order it. Oh man, this sucks. This actually really sucks. Why, God, why, why? I will get my iPhone. Just you wait, okay? Believe in me. Believe in me. To be continued. And that's my alarm to get up.